Yes. All right, so now we're going to do a hip opener to release. Sit up nice and tall. Shake your legs out. Yes. All right, so now I want you to cross your right leg in front of your left, like so. If you can, take the back leg and bend it back. All right, so I want you to take your hands and pick up your pelvis, then put it back down until you feel that hip bone on the mat, okay? Now I want you to lay forward. Easy does it. Now make sure your foot is away from your um, pelvic girdle. So this foot should be away from your pelvic girdle. Why? Because I am going for your IT band, which is here, goes out to the side and into the lateral knee, okay? So let's go for that IT band. Drop your head down. Breathe into this stretch about 16 seconds. Of course, if you're really flexible, you can do a full swan, which is the back leg goes out and then your pelvis goes down, okay? If you really, really got really open hips, you feel free to do that. Eight more seconds. All right, so I want you to walk your hands out to the side of your pelvis and then bring that back foot forward. Pick up your hips, put them back down. Hug your knee and stack your spine. Really tall, okay? Chest up, shoulders pressed down. Now I want you to open the chest towards the leg and drop the shoulder down. See if you can look behind you. All right, so that's a rotation, spinal rotation. Inhale, exhale, pull your belly in. Inhale, exhale, sink in your belly. Really try to sink your belly underneath your ribs. One more, inhale, exhale, sink in your belly. Good, now uncurl that spine and your opposite leg should be in front of you. Okay, so your left leg's front, right leg's behind now, okay? Take your hands, pick up your pelvis, put it back down and feel the sit bone there. Now, let your chest rest. Opening the hips is such a beautiful thing to do. Don't force it. Let the weight of your pelvis open the hips without force. That's the best way. Breathe easy on it. I want you to look internally, look at your hip. See that hip socket. Now I want you to inhale, when you exhale, send your breath to that hip socket and open that hip socket. It's a healing technique. Give me eight more seconds. All right, good job, beautiful work. Slowly gonna come up. And then we're gonna do that spinal rotation. So you're here, okay? Make sure that your hip bones are on the mat. If they're not on the mat, move your flesh from the hip bones and put them down. So the foot's on the mat. Hug your knee and stack your spine tall. Drop your shoulders down. Now open the chest towards the leg. Put the hand behind you. Good. Now really be tall and press your shoulders down. Lengthen your spine. Inhale. Suck your belly in on the exhale. The belly sucks under the ribs if you can. Squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, suck in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, suck. One more. Inhale. Exhale, suck. Good. Uncurl. What was that? That was a detox for the core. Just like you wringing out a rag and you get the water out. You did that with your vital organs and your core. So you suck in, ah, that belly, get the, it's good for you. Open the legs here. Okay, from here, give me a spine stretch forward. We're almost there, almost time for um, static back. So you're here, okay? So you're gonna rock that pelvis, chin to chest, and then your head's going for a dive underneath your arm. And you stretch from the small of your lower back. Feel that good old lateral back stretch. You inhale and stack the spine, shoulders down. Exhale, contract, and stretch forward. Inhale to lift. 
Exhale has two motions. Exhale has a contraction and a flat back stretch. Remember the arms don't touch the ground. The arms lengthen forward and up. And then up. Inhale, contract. Exhale, flat back stretch. Head under the arms. Thumbs over the head. No touch in the back. Give me one more. One more, one more, one more. Good one. Inhale to lift. Exhale, contract. Yes, that's it. Perfect. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and bring the arms and legs together and shake them out. Go ahead and give me that shoulder stretch. Hugging yourself. Grab that shoulder and pull. It's time for static back. Yes. Remember, rest your elbow on your chest and pull it across. We're going for the deltoid, the shoulder pad. All right, now shake the other to your fingers and do the other one. Remember, rest your elbow. Then grab above the elbow and pull. All right, shake it out. All right, let's go to our quiet space. We are going to our static back. So go ahead and take your mat over to the mirror or over to the wall, but lower the So you want to be arm distance apart or more, even when it's, you know, we're not doing the whole social distance thing. Even on static back, you want to have enough room between you and the person next to you so that you can come down the wall, put your legs on the side. Oh, we didn't do planks today. I'm so sorry. I should have given my girl some push-ups down there. I will make sure I give you those push-ups next time, honey. All right. Can't leave without doing 20 push-ups. Go for it, I feel you. All right, my good, my good sir, I need you to scoot your hips all the way to the wall until you're sitting on the wall. That's it. Good, good, good. Thank you for reminding me. I will make sure I put it in. All right, so you start like my lady down there is doing. You see how she puts your hips on the side of the wall? You did it perfect, Greg. You don't have to adjust the thing. All right, so yep, and then you scooch. You're perfect. Okay, that's looking good. All right, so you put your hips up on the side of the wall, and then you rest. All right, so just a few things you want to think about here when you're aligning, because this is spinal alignment. So you want to think about the back of your neck, first of all. So the back of your neck, should be your cervical vertebrae those bones in the back of the neck should be open so lift your head up just a little bit and then place your head back down now your throat should be open as well that means the bones in your neck are open you have an option to open your palms to the side lift your chest up and then put the uh, your shoulder blades back down if you're kyphotic which means your shoulders roll forward you want to do the open palm rest. That way your shoulders can, you can reverse your, um, the posture. So you can reverse that curl, that curling forward that's happening into your spine. If you just want to rest here, feel free to place your hands on your lower abdominals just below your belly and open your chest still. In your meditation, you want to close your eyes and you want to watch your breath. That means with your eyes closed, you're just going to watch your chest and belly lift and collapse. That should look like water, and it'll bring a sense of peace, focusing your inner eye on your breath. You also want to focus your inner ear on the sound of your breath. So we're going to quiet the room completely. And I want you to block out all the noise that's going on around you and only listen to the sound of your breath. So you're gonna watch your breath with your inner eye and listen to your breath with your inner ear. I will be silent for about three minutes, allowing you to meditate and to relax your spine starting now.
Good. Now I want to ask you just to slide your feet down the wall. Soles of the feet go down the wall. Hands go beside you. From there, I want to ask you to roll over to side feet. You're going to actually you can scoot your body away from the wall. Use your feet to push your hips away from the wall. And then you're going to roll over to side feet or pose. Whichever side your body naturally goes to, make sure you bring your shoulders all the way around. So you're going to rest on your side for about 30 seconds. This allows the blood to flow back down into even into both sides of the brain. Breathe easy. Now go ahead and take your top hand and push your torso upright. And then you're gonna sit up against the wall and shake the blood down to your feet. All right? Stand your feet out and just shake the blood down to your feet. Use the wall to correct your posture. Feel as if there's an imaginary string pulling out the top of your head. Your shoulders are relaxed. Now cross your legs in front of you. Continue to sit up nice and tall and we'll make the symbol for wisdom. We make a solid commitment to keep a peaceful, positive state of mind regardless of what's going on around us. And as negative news continues to come towards us, make a commitment to step back and listen for the voice of truth, the voice of love and compassion, to trust and believe that voice of faith above all other voices. We seal this commitment. Namaste, everyone. Good job. Thank you.